In this short movie, we will tell you how CNC welding is done. The characteristic that distinguishes CNC welding from other types of welding is that the welding is performed automatically from the touch monitor that is on top of the hydraulic unit. This automatic process can also be performed manually on demand. Turan Borfit has brought these two options together and presents it to you on the same hydraulic unit. When performing CNC welding, it is extremely important to use appropriate tools in order for the weld to be durable and reliable. Our proposed instruments are as follows. One piece of hydraulic CNC unit. One piece of trimmer. One piece of heater. One piece of machine chassis. Two inserts or pipes. And cleaning solution. Attaching pipes to the chassis. In case a great variety of inserts and pipes are being employed, two or three pieces of reels will be needed. These reels are placed under the pipes and facilitate the machine to move the pipes under a lower pressure. Before attaching the pipes onto the chassis, at least the part that is the length of the chassis should be cleaned up externally and internally. Before initiating the welding process, please place the pipe on the machine chassis and the reels and use the clamps to fasten the pipe onto the machine chassis. Attach each pipe at least 2 cm ahead of the midpoint clamps of the machine. Mid clamps should be tightened merely to correct the overness of the pipe and to prevent the pipe from sliding. External clamps, on the other hand, should be tightened a little bit more than the mid clamp. Preparation of the CNC Hydraulic Unit After attaching the pipes to the chassis, please use the remote control to turn the power switch and bring the hydraulic unit in CNC working position. From the Language Options menu displayed on the screen, choose the language you prefer and press the button. Click on the Home Page button in order to enter the welding values of the pipe to be welded. Click on the Program button that appears in the menu. In the Pipe Type section, identify the type of the pipe, PE100-PE80-PP, you will weld. On the screen that appears when you press the Wall Thickness button, Please enter the wall thickness of the insert or the pipe. Press the pipe diameter right below and enter the information regarding the pipe diameter. After entering all the information correctly, go back to the home page menu. You can now press the automatic button and initiate the automatic welding process. Performing the trimming process. Please trim the pipes before the welding process begins. Place the trimmer between the pipes. Press the button on the screen that says, Turn Trimming On. If in the question window we encounter the piston is a bath, press the green button which means yes. If the piston is not a bath, Press the red button, which means no. Hydraulic unit will automatically bring the pipes closer to each other and will ensure that the trimmer is stuck between the pipes. Trimming process is deemed concluded as soon as one full round of burr forms around the pipes. Once we hit the turn trimming on button, the machine will first pull the pipes back and then it will stop the trimmer. Please remove the trimmer from between the pipes after the trimming stops. 
please do not touch the trim surfaces once the trimming is completed. Afterwards, please press Next button and place the pipes forehead to forehead. Check whether the pipes fully come into contact with each other. When the pipes are fixed forehead to forehead, take a look at the axis and ovalness of the pipes. If the pipes are not on the axis, loosen one of the mid clamps and tighten the other one so as to adjust the centeredness and the ovalness of the pipes. Performing the welding process. Heater should be plugged in once the CNC unit is provided with electricity. When indicator indicates 220 degrees, it means that the heater has reached the desired temperature for the heating. Please place the heater between the pipes and press the start button. If the piston is not abaft, press the red button and the exit menu and press and hold the back button to set the piston abaft. After setting the piston abaft, press start button again. In the menu you encounter, please press the green button that means yes and hence initiate the welding process. Once the pipes come into contact with the heater, lips will emerge on both surfaces of the heater. CNC will adjust the hydraulic unit heating and cooling times automatically. Once the T1 period indicated on the screen expires, CNC hydraulic unit will decrease the pressure and automatically transits into T2 period. When the T2 period is up, the machine is opened. There will be an approval question on the screen for the welding process. Remove the heater from between the pipes quickly. And press the yes button. Please wait until T5, that is the cooling period, is over. Do not remove the jaws immediately after the pipes are welded to each other. In order to control and ensure that all the weldings you have performed are performed in line with accurate parameters, you can save the weldings from the registry menu to the UBS that is behind the CNC screen. And you can print out the results from any printer. Durable welding is possible only with accurate parameters and cleaning. Turan Borfit Your risk-free choice in welding machines. Turan Borfit Our sales representatives are at your service at any time.